What is up Yak Squad? Welcome back to another video here on Fishing with Yak Pack. What we're going to be doing in today's video is spray painting an entire bait caster combo gold. You guys really, really loved it when I spray painted my rod blue and I gave you guys an update about a week after that. So I'll link those two videos down in the description below. You'll also see them popping up right here if you want to check those out after you watch this one. But we have a Shimano Corrado reel on a Luz American Hero rod, okay? Now I've actually had this rod for, oh my goodness, probably three years now. This was actually one of my first uh, rods I made a video on here on the channel. Everybody knows if you go back years on the channel, years throughout the videos, if you go back, always preach to lose American Hero because it's, in my opinion, one of the best uh, budget-friendly rods that there is. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. We're here to spray paint a Baitcaster Combo Gold. I'm super, super excited for this. I picked the most flashiest, shiniest color that I could find. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get the rod taped up, make sure everything is safe and secure. We don't want paint getting in any places it doesn't need to be. And then we're gonna start painting this bad boy up and see how it turns out, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it turns out good. It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be the world's first solid gold bait caster combo. A lot of you guys were asking me basically to do a reel, right? You guys wanted to see me do a reel. So I started looking through old reels that I had that I didn't really use anymore. And I ran across this Shimano. Absolutely love this reel when I did used to use it. This is the uh, Shimano Corrado 200i. But first we want to make sure everything is taped up properly. We don't want any chances uh, of getting spray paint down in the, the components of the reel because I don't think it's going to have that negative of that like much of a negative effect on the reel. But I do know if it gets if this paint is like leaking or whatever or, or dripping and it gets down in the components, I do know it will absolutely ruin this reel 100%. Why can't I not figure this freaking tape out? There we go. Let me know down in the comments if you think this is a stupid idea or not. Also, stay tuned because here in about three minutes, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys how you could potentially win something that I'm gonna be giving to one of you guys here in this video. I'm doing my best to cover up the gear right here and the, the line guide, but this is uh, proven to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, this is actually gonna be really hard. The only part that I'm super, super concerned about is the gear right here. When you reel it, that's the part that I need to make sure stays covered. We're just gonna stuff some tape down in there because I can't get my fat fingers down there. So, you know what we like to say in the Army? It's good enough for government work. You know, painting a rod is a lot easier, a hundred times easier than doing a reel. This is this is just difficult. There we go. I guess it probably would have been better if, uh, if I took the reel apart, but we ain't got time for that. All right, guys. Got it taped up. Y'all ready to ruin a reel? Check it out, look, we're taped up and we're ready to go. One last look at this beautiful combo before we actually start spray painting it. We've got everything taped up that we want taped up. All the line guides all the way down. The reel, everything basically super important. Anything vital in the reel is taped. Let's get the painting. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. There we go. It's go time, baby. Gold metallic. I think we're gonna save the best for last. We're gonna do this half of the real last. We'll just start up here, up top. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. This is actually crazy. This looks like good so far. Look at this. It looks good. Well, that is what color the rod used to be, and now it is gold. That doesn't look bad, I'm not gonna lie, but I am very nervous about painting this. So I guess the best way to do it is just to, to fully commit, just to fully send it right here. If you haven't already, guys, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Who else do you know has ever spray painted a Shimano reel? Oh, God. Oh, I'm so nervous. Gotta make sure we get the handle. It's really windy out here today. Here we go. Oh my God, look at this reel. <laughs> what did I just do? All right, we've got the last little piece right here and then we're gonna go let it dry. And here we go. The finished product. Oh my gosh. I really just spray painted the Shimano reel. And there we have it our fully spray painted Shimano Baitcaster. So what we're gonna do is let this dry. And while we let it dry, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about this box right here 
and uh, what's inside of it and what I'm gonna be giving away to one of you guys. To be entered firstly at all in this giveaway, all you have to do is leave a thumbs up on this video. That's literally all you have to do. If you wanna subscribe and turn the notification bell on, that'll just be bonus points. But all you gotta do, leave a thumbs up, comment down below whether you think this was a good idea or a bad idea, okay? Because I can't tell who likes the video. I don't know, it doesn't show me who likes the video, but it does show me every comment. And if you say that was a cool idea or that was a dumb idea, either way, either way, if you think it was dumb, you're still entered to win the giveaway because I mean, that's, that's completely okay. If you don't like the idea, that's completely fine. Thumbs up, comment if you think this was a good idea or not. But anyways, the contents of this box, okay? This is from shopcarls.com and it is a power fishing kit, okay? If you go on there, you can find these little kits. You can find like a Carolina rig kit, spinnerbait kit, swimbait kit, Texas rig kit, power fishing kit, finesse fishing kit, et cetera, et cetera, so on, so on. I chose the power fishing kit because I'm in Florida and I'm a power fisherman, okay? So we power fish year round basically down here. It really doesn't get that cold down here. So the contents of this kit is gonna consist of like chatterbait stuff, spinnerbait stuff, uh, soft plastic swimbait stuff. Basically something that if you think power fishing, if you think cast and reel, that's what's gonna be in this box right here. I'll show you what's in it already, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna personally take stuff out of my tackle and add it to this box right here. The rip, we've got uh, the most important thing in this box, which is a eagle and American flag holding a hook. That's just, America. We've got a Lucky Craft crankbait. We've got a Max Lures crankbait. Those are upside down, I'm sorry. And then we've got a Catch Coast Series uh, spinnerbait. So I'm actually gonna, like I said, take some stuff out of my personal tackle. I'm gonna fill this box up. This box is probably gonna weigh like five pounds. It's probably gonna cost me $100 to ship it. I'm gonna add my stuff to that box and then I'm gonna choose one lucky winner here in about a week. So the, what I did on the last video I made, spray painting a rod, I let it go. I let the video build for about 10 days and then I did an update video on it. So that's gonna be the exact same thing with this baitcaster combo rather than just a rod. So I'm gonna post this video. This is gonna be you guys entering in to win this power fishing kit from Shop Carl's. And then what I'm gonna do about 10 days from now, about a week to 10 days, seven to 10 days from now, uh, I'll do an update video where I will announce the winner for this right here. So with that being said, let's go uh, check on our rod and then let's go fish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have the rod finished and the rod done, let's go ahead and take the tape off of it. Let's take a quick look at it, and then let's go get on the water and go catch some fish, or at least try to catch some fish. We let it dry overnight so everything would be solid and everything would be crispy and ready to go, but uh, I can't keep it from you guys any longer. We have to check this out together. Check, just look how awesome this thing actually looks. Straight up, I think it looks great. I think I did a, a, a really good job, especially at keeping those components that needed to be safe, kept safe. So I guess the real test here is gonna be to go fish with that reel uh, and see how it's gonna perform after being spray painted. So I'm extremely excited. We're gonna go fish right now. We're gonna go put this reel through the test, all right? And then after we get done fishing, we'll come back here to the house and uh, we'll talk a little bit about how the reel felt uh, pending we catch fish. So let's, uh, let's go try to catch them. We can't catch them from the driveway, so let's get to fishing. The first fish. Let's go. I walked up on this guy and I saw him and I scared him. <laughs> Let's go. Nice fish. He was, look, he was trapped. I'm actually going to move him out of here. But he was trapped inside of this. You guys can see this fence right here. He was right here when I walked up and I seen him. Look at that. On the gold rod and reel. How awesome. All right, let's get you back, dude. We're gonna release you free this time. Now you're free. Heck yeah, I walked right up and I seen him sitting right there. That was an awesome catch. I watched him. Yeah, I watched him eat it. Should start fighting it. <laughs> you got one, dude. Pull it. Dude, pull it, dude. Oh, I think I just broke off. No. 100% just broke off. No way. That was my last little underspin, too. No, you did not just break off. Yeah. A fish out there just broke you off. Yeah. 18 pound fluoro. Don't worry, I'll catch but I'll get you in my defense, in my defense, we've caught a lot of fish today. If I catch that fish, 
I'm keeping it. This line is frayed. So that was a error on me. Oh, there he is. Feels like a good one too. Feels like a good one, boys. The one you broke off on. Maybe I'll get my bait back. Oh, oh. did you see it hit me in the face? Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> no, that was my bait, dude. I know that, I that was no bait. way. No, dude, this was the same I fish. Was this close to saying that's part of your other bait because no, I thought it was like a real bait. dude. It hit fly. me in the face. I thought it was a dude. I saw it fly. I was like, that's oh bait. my god. My bait literally, guys, you just saw me retie this. You heard me just say that's part of your fish, dude. Oh. Wow, I thought it was this bait that flew off and hit me in the face. I've never had that happen, ever. Never had that happen. That was ab That's unreal. I don't even know what to say. That's crazy though. Clearly this guy's hungry, so we're gonna go ahead and get him back. back. Yeah, clearly, clearly he, oh, and he's acrobatic. Dude, he's, he's crazy, he's out. Yeah, he's a wild one. Dude, look. <laughs> no, no way did that just happen. Oh my God. I don't even know what to say. I've never had that happen oh, before. He kicked up shad too. Look at that little shad out there. Oh yeah. Yeah. That thing looks so good. Yeah, it looks pretty. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty good. There we go. I did it right over the freaking pipe. There we go. Right over the little drain pipe thing. Nice little decent one on the on the solid gold. He's gonna come off. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Ooh. Doubles. I'll get one bigger than all. Did we double? Ooh, Christian, <laughs> we're Christian, doubled. Christian stole mine. We'll that, get three. That's mine. Oh. I got large mouth, mouth on my bait. There we go. Well, I wanted to uh, see how how this reel, this spray painted reel would hold up against fish, and I guess it's done pretty good. Well, we got a bump right there. Let's see if he'll come back for it. There we go. He came back for it. Come here. Come here. Nice good one. On the uh, the gold rod. <laughs> he hit it twice. I knew he would though. Right under this nasty green stuff. All right, let's get you back. Nice. Best one of the day so far. Actually, that was the best one on this uh, this little combo right here. Best one so far. Oh, I just did. Oh God. Oh, I hit your line. Shit. Hold on, Han. Don't get me in this. Don't get me in this. Christian. I should have went behind you before I try to do this. Where am I? Where's my bait? There it is. I'm gonna get back on this side. Of you. Yeah. Just got nailed right there. Oh no way! Uh, as I'm getting a backlash out. <laughs> as I'm getting a backlash out. Oh. I came off right as it hit the water way out there as far as I could cast another backlash what do you know what do you know like that solid gold reel yeah the solid gold I'm having more backlashes with this solid gold reel than, than I think I ever have no way oh god double backlash fish today that was right there where that school was busting I don't know Oh my god, oh my god, dude. Oh! That's the biggest one of the day. Oh, don't break the rock. <laughs> oh my god. Another one. Right as uh, the freaking backlash, like, as I backlash. Look how fat he is. Dude, this, dude, what a chunky. Talk, they're eating. They're eating shit. They're eating they're good. That's what we were seeing them bust out here like crazy. So, Bobby, me, and Christian just start 
bombing our baits out there and of course i get a backlash but that's sick nice uh solid fish here on the uh the backlash gold reel we'll take it let's get you back there we go Got one. no way he's eating it <laughs> Bobby's hook sets are on another level. Literally, the only issues that I've had with this reel, even after spray painting it, is the two backlashes. But I'll take those two backlashes because they've landed me two fish. So we'll take that. I think I might try to fall in on the top. Oh. There we go. There we go. Dude, the chum worked. The chum worked, dude. Look. The chum freaking worked. Doubles. Wow, this is a really chunky fish again. Me and Bobby just doubled up. Another good little chunky one. He's got some battle scars going on. I think they may be getting ready to uh, move up or something. But nice. On the goal, baby. Oh. Literally just got done saying. <laughs> this guy was not ready to come in. He has all the fight left in him. There we go. Another nice little one. Nothing special, but we'll take it. And we're back at the house. Uh, the reel actually held up pretty freaking good. So I wasn't expecting it to just be a disaster. I wasn't expecting the reel to just fall apart in my hands or something. Uh, what I was looking at, what I was looking for while fishing with that reel specifically, the rod I figured would be okay because my other one I spray painted blue was just fine. Uh, but the reel, I was concerned with when I was spray painting it, I was using painter's tape, so I couldn't really keep all the, the necessarily super important parts and pieces safe from that spray paint. So that's what I was concerned with, but it held up great, and I didn't have a single issue with the reel other than those two backlashes. But with that being said, stay tuned because here in about a week to 10 days, I'm gonna be making a, a follow-up video, like a one-week update. That way I can show you guys how the reel is performing after uh, more extensive use rather than just one little fishing uh, adventure but anyways thanks again for watching thanks for tuning in don't forget to enter the giveaway if you have not already go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and smack that thumbs up button that way i know you guys are enjoying the content go ahead and drop some suggestions down in the comments uh what do you want to see me paint next do you want to see me paint a lure do you want to see me paint a, another fishing pole another fishing reel what do you guys want to see i'll spray paint anything anyways thanks again for watching guys and we'll catch y'all next time